In this video, I'll detail how much you need to have invested into JEPQ to earn $500 per month in passive dividend income. Investing in dividend stocks is usually an amazing strategy for generating passive income. However, with the recent rise in interest rates, many investors have shifted their focus from dividend stocks to more secure investments, such as savings accounts, or CDs, which are offering rates of up to 5%. This is not a bad strategy, but this shift has left dividend stocks somewhat out of favor, making it an opportune time for savvy investors to explore high yield options like the JP Morgan NASDAQ Equity Premium Income ETF or JEPQ. So what is JEPQ? Well, it's an exchange traded fund designed to provide income by investing in large cap US stocks within the NASDAQ 100 index and selling call options on the index. We'll talk more about this in a second. The fund was launched in May 2022 and has quickly gained popularity and is managing over $13.93 billion in assets. We need to talk a little bit more about JEPQ's strategy because it's important for investors to know what they are getting into. This fund employs a covered call strategy where it sells call options on the NASDAQ 100 index. JEPQ generates additional income from these sold call option premiums, which are then distributed as dividends. This strategy is particularly beneficial in volatile markets where options premiums are higher, thus providing a buffer against market downturns. JEPQ's current dividend yield is about 9%, which is significantly higher than the average yield of many traditional dividend stocks and also those current high interest paying savings accounts. Here's how much you need to invest into JEPQ to earn approximately $500 a month. JEPQ is currently paying an annual dividend of about $5.40 per share. The current price per share is $55.33. Because we're calculating this using the annual dividend amount, the first thing we need to do is make the amount we want to be earning into an annual amount. So if we want to earn $500 a month in dividends, that would mean we need to earn $6,000 annually. If we take 6,000 and divide it by the annual dividend amount of 5.3964, this gives us about 1,112, which is how many shares we need to own to get that $500 a month. So how much money do we need to buy 1,112 shares? Well, JEPQ's current stock price is $55.33. That means you need about $61,518 to buy 1,112 shares, which is a significant amount and way more than I am able to invest into JEPQ at this time. Let's now take a look at how much you would need invested into JEPQ to earn $100 a month in passive income. But before we go there, I do want to mention that I have a whole series of these types of videos coming out analyzing different investments to earn passive income. If you enjoy these types of videos, please consider subscribing. All right, to make $100 in passive income from JEPQ dividends, you will need to own 222 shares, which will cost you $12,303. To recap, to earn $500 monthly in passive dividends with JEPQ, you currently need to own 1,112 shares, which will cost you about $61,500. To earn $100 a month with JEPQ dividends, you need to own about 222 shares, costing just over $12,300. Of course, with both these scenarios, the dividends can be reinvested, increasing your JEPQ ownership every month, which will start compounding your growth. But before you put all your money into JEPQ, here are some additional things you should know. JEPQ has an expense ratio of 0.35%, which is relatively low for such an actively managed fund. JEPQ has shown strong performance with a total return of over 27% over the past 12 months and significant asset inflows, reflecting investor confidence and demand for high yield income products. This one's really important. While JEPQ's high dividend yield is attractive, it's essential to consider its sustainability. The fund's reliance on selling call options to generate income means its dividends can fluctuate based on market conditions. During bull markets, the premiums from call options can be substantial, supporting high dividend payments. However, in volatile or bear markets, income from options may decline, potentially impacting dividend payouts. It is very important to understand this fund might not always be able to maintain such high dividends without favorable market conditions. To mitigate risk and enhance income stability, consider diversifying your portfolio with additional high dividend ETFs to complement JEPQ. I'm not going to go into the details of these funds in this video, but these are some excellent options in my opinion. Number one is the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF or VYM. Next, we have a favorite of mine, the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF or SCHD. We have the SPDR S&P Dividend ETF or SDY, the iShares Select Dividend ETF or DVY, and the Global X Super Dividend ETF or SDIV. Before you invest any money, be sure to do your own research or speak to a financial advisor because I am not one. I'm just passionate about stocks and investing to share my thoughts on the internet. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I've been investing $5 every day so far in 2024 into multiple assets. It has been a wild and fun ride. I made a video about it right here that I'm sure you will enjoy. Take care and I will see you next time.